Hi there everybody and welcome. It's Jackie here from StampingJack.com. It is Wednesday the 20th of April, which means it's time for our weekly Facebook Live crafting session. I hope you're all well. I hope you all had a lovely Easter break. Um, managed to get some time off and some downtime and lots of chocolate. Uh, I'm just going to double check my settings, make sure I'm live in the right places. Leave a comment below letting me know that you're here and saying hi. Uh, and let's just see. There we go. Just give it a second for people to come on. Let me see now. Okay. All righty. I think we are... Oh, Ooh, just lost my screen. Hang on. I think we're good. Ooh, sorry. Every week technology throws me a different curveball, so just bear with me. I think this time it's my computer rather than the internet. I have a computer that is just ridiculously slow. I think it's time to replace. So let's see if I can see your comments. So as I say, welcome. Um, I hope you had a good Easter. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Hi, Lynn. Welcome. Yes, um, Lynn, thank you for sharing. Just a reminder um, to share this video. Um, I really, really appreciate that. Um, and if you're watching live on the replay on YouTube, again, if you give it a thumbs up and share, that would be fantastic. So did you guys have a good Easter? How, how did you get on? Did you get lots of eggs? Um, we had... I managed to get some time off work last week, which was really nice. Um, spent it uh, with my son, Rupert. Um, and uh, I don't know if I told you guys, but I've decided that um, it's about time that I start getting a little bit fit because I've reached a certain age that if I don't do something now, that'll be it. I'll never do it. So I perhaps rather foolishly and ambitiously signed up to a couch to 5K um, running group a few weeks ago and oh my god <laughs> it has been tough tough going and um, for someone who barely leaves a desk doesn't do anything um uh my even mildly energetic um running i can't remember the last time i ran probably when my son was a toddler so that's over 10 years ago um and in the last five weeks, we've built up from, you know, being able to run for 60 seconds at a time, which was a real challenge, to now running for 20 minutes. Now, I am, I have to say, I am incredibly slow. <laughs> I walk faster than I can run, but I can maintain it. Well, I did once. I maintained it for 20 minutes. Um, so I'll, I've been trying to do a bit of, I missed a few sessions. I've been trying to do a bit of catch up Um so last week, let me see, I went, I ran on Monday, I went for a six kilometre uphill hike on Tuesday, uh, I went for a 10 kilometre walk on Wednesday, rested on Thursday, ran on Friday, ran on Saturday, ran on Sunday. I've never done so much exercise in my whole life. Um, well, no, not in my whole life, but yeah, probably in my whole life. Um, so I am aching right now, but it's got to be done. The weather's good, so it's easy to get out, um, which is makes it much, much easier to do. Um, where I am, it's just fields around me, so it's kind of it's kind of cross country a little bit. So that's a little bit more pleasant than just pounding the pavements. Hi, Cat. Welcome. Hi, Sue. Good to have you all here. So anyway, enough about me and my uh, <laughs> my exercising trials. I shall keep you posted. Um, but as you'll have noticed, the eagle-eyed amongst you, we've got a special one-day-only offer running um, tomorrow, 21st of April. So it runs from midnight tonight, which is the 20th, to midnight tomorrow night. And that's on all orders over £60 or more. You get free shipping. So if you haven't already done so and, and uh, placed your orders for your retiring items or whatever it is that you need, make sure to get your orders in um, tomorrow um, so that you can take advantage of the free shipping. I will say that um, this evening has been a little bit of a challenge for me uh, in terms of what projects to do with you because um, I had planned quite a few bits and pieces using stuff that's retiring, sort of a last chance to play with it. Um, and half of the stuff, well, most of the stuff that I've decided I'd wanted to use is actually already gone. Um, so last week we used um, the perennial flowers, the hats off and the... Um, 
what's that have a have a blast um products uh, so we did some um fun folds last week so the hats builder dies the dies are still here but the stamp set is gone i think um the pretty perennials obviously people have been listening to what i've been saying about it this is gone unfortunately so i hope you managed to get hold of it the having a blast i think is still here so you can see these were just some fun flap cards that we did last week so if you missed last week's installment do make sure to catch up so tonight I'm going to play with um, Blossoms and Bloom. Now, the stamp set has gone, which is a real shame um, because, uh, well, I really like it, but I particularly like the sentiments that are in it. But the dies are still here, and the dies are, I think, 50% off. So the projects I'm going to do tonight are using the dies rather than the stamp set because, obviously, these don't really cut out the images that are here they just work they coordinate with one another so the dies work without the stamp set um, so i'm just going to i've got missing a die hang on where is it there it is so this is a layering die set so what you've got is two really big ones so this is a more solid one and then you've got this one here which lays on top so if i show you what i mean this is this one, so this is the solid image, and then this is the detailed, and I haven't fully popped everything out, but the two, if I've got it the right way around, the two lay on top of each other like that. Okay, so you can see it creates a beautiful effect there. Okay, so what I'm going to do tonight is I've got a few ideas to play around with different ways that you can use these dies. And then of course, it also has some, um, a couple of smaller flowers. So let's get going uh, and let's see how we get on. I might have to dip into the stamp set, but again, like this, you can really just for sentiments. Um, so you can use any stamp set you've got for that. So first up, what I've done is I've just cut a load of these in some solids and some detailed, really just in white. I've done a black one. Um, there we go. And then I've die cut a couple of flowers, uh, the little flowers that you can see. These ones also layer on top of one another um, if you want, but they also work individually. So I think these are really sweet. So let's get started. I'm going to need some scrap paper for this because we're going to do some sponging. Okay, so let's start for the first one. Uh, I've got a Coastal Cabana card base. So I'm sticking to the same kind of colour palette um, for tonight just to try and keep it easy for you. So you just got that. This is going to be the super, super simple um Card. So we've got, sorry, words are hard for me today. I was up at 5 a.m. this morning. Um, at a f I'd been dropping my son back to school um, after the Easter holidays in the UK yesterday and had the red eye flight this morning back from Gatwick. So let's just grab our, just one second, ink pad is inks caught up on something. So I'm going to grab my Coastal Cabana. Uh, actually, no. Uh, I'm going to use some Bermuda Bay. And let's just see. There we go. So all I'm going to do, I could just adhere this straight down like that and it would make a really nice card, but we can be a bit fancier than that. Okay. So I'm just going to take the excess off here and I'm just going to lightly add some inking to the background. Now the stamp here, this works by filling in what would be in here, if that makes sense. So that's how they coordinate with one another. But as you can, you will see, you can do this for ourselves. Thank you. 
in. It's coming together. Okay, and then this one is dead easy to adhere because it's quite solid. Oop, don't need quite that much glue though. So I'm just going to add some glue strategically around the place. Stick this down. Let's pop it at a jaunty angle, like so. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing. So we've got our Versamark and some white. And just, I've got my little black scraps. So I'm going to use the sentiments on here, but as I say, you could use any sort of sentiments you want. So I'm going to do thank you, because I always need thank you cards. Okay, and then I've got a skinny little strip left over from trimming my cardstock, and that's the perfect size um, for these sentiments. So, get my embossing buddy. Okay, ink up. Try and get it straight. I think that's straight. Oh, no, it's not straight. I can see I haven't done it properly, so let's try that again. There we go. Trying to do it through the camera, so let's try that again. Yeah, that's better. Not 100% straight, but we can trim it down. Okay, let's grab our heat tool, warm it up. So I'm just going to check the comments while I wait for this to warm up. Apologies if my camera is shaking. Here we go. see that I've messed that up that's actually quite crooked so I'm going to just trim it tight and that's quite easy to do with this sentiment because it's block so it's quite easy to follow the line of the text because the text is all in line with itself okay I'm going to do that think we can bring this up ever so slightly. So first things first is some Wink of Stella. So what I should really have done was put this on before, but that's all right. So this just gives it an extra bit of glitter. I do like the old Wink of Stella because you get that nice sheen without it being completely glitterified, if that's a word. Okay, so there we go. Super, super simple, easy peasy. Um, and like I say, I've kept it kind of 
monochrome, but you could really brighten this up and use lots of different colours, bling it up with a bit of ribbon or twine or whatever. That's just a really, really simple. So that's the first card. So for the next one, I'm going to use the... I'm just going to pick some of the extra last final bits of this. I'm going to use the detailed version of this. So let's just make sure we've got all of our bits taken care of. Okay. That's it. There we go. Let's move this. And we have need this still because again we're going to do another bit of ink blending on this one. So we'll use our we'll stick with our Bermuda Bay. Um, and we want so this is a piece of white cardstock which is um 10 by 14. Okay. So just got to be a little bit careful with this. Um some post-its. I want to hold this in place a little bit but I'll have to be careful not to get a harsh line so you'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm just going to hold that down. Okay it is quite detailed. So we've got our Bermuda Bay and I think we'll do, 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 do. We'll do a bit of Daffodil Delight and let's do some Melon Mumble these three colours together are really lovely and bright. So we'll start with our Bermuda Bay. Okay. I'm just going to go really, really lightly with this so that I don't damage my dye. So you can see we're just going to... You can see I'm being really light and gentle. Um, and I'm sort of doing each flower, um, but there's no particular rhyme or reason to it. It's not supposed to be um, absolutely 100% accurate. But the key to this is to just be really gentle. Now, if you had some kind of, you could use like a, if you had a temporary fixing spray, that would really work well with this. Hi, Mary. Welcome. Good to see you. And like that, I'm choosing colours that kind of blend well together so that if they overlap, it's not such a big deal. Okay, and then we'll grab some yellow. And make sure to get in all the gaps between the flowers as well and a little bit around the edge too okay um, so then we're going to go for our Bermuda Bay again down here okay and we want pink up here I just need to be careful now. I'm just going to take this bit off and move it around because I don't want a harsh line on my blending. Okay, and we'll do a bit of pink over this side. Alrighty, and then some yellow up here. You can see that I'm going round the outside here. I'm overlapping my colours so that I get a nice soft blend. And I think we'll do some yellow down here. Again, I'm just going to move this so that I don't get a harsh line. Now, if you don't know if you saw what happened there, my um, because this bit is delicate, 
it's moving so I'm just going to be really careful and rather than using a circular motion I'm using more of a gentle stroke like that so that I'm just only doing it in one direction so that I don't keep catching on my dial like just there okay there we go and to blend a bit more Bermuda Bay out this way and I think we want some Bermuda Bay up in this corner Ready. Okay, so let's just close up some of my pads. I think I'm just going to add a bit more Bermuda Bay in here. I wanted a bit more intense colour. There we go. Okay, so now what we have. beautiful background so we'll start with that and we also have this beautiful piece here okay so let's start with this we're just going to layer this up onto a um, coastal cabana base and I think I might want layer of black to go behind that so bear with me a second while I trim down a piece I normally have some ready but I think the black will make it pop yes there we go. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to add some splatters. Uh, so I've got my um, basic black uh, stamp and write marker. You can use any kind of marker that's got a brush tip. So I'm just this is black. So I'm just going to hold the brush tip in the cap and just flick. And you want very subtle. And I'm also going to do the same with my Wink of Stella. I want that glitter on there. There we go. And then whilst we do that, I'm going to do my sentiment. Now, I'm going to do what I should have done at the beginning, which is I'm going to need quite a few sentiments. So I'm going to actually stamp a few of them at the same time rather than doing it for each individual card. So we'll just do all of them as thank yous. So, here we go. Let's see. Let's see if I perhaps put my sentiment straight on my block. That might help me stamp it straight. Oh, you like it, Diane. I, lo I have to say, I love those colours together anyway. Um, but I just love the background that it creates. Now, if you don't have these dyes, get them. <laughs> But if you don't get them, or you can't get them, if they get sold out before you get to them, if you've got any kind of detailed dyes like that, or background dyes, you can use this technique with them as well. So let's see, I've done three. That should do. Okay. Oop. See, I've got a few strays. Let me just trim those off. Oop. There we are. Okay, so let's pop our powder back. 
So yeah, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight and Melon Mambo are a fantastic colour combination. Really, really lovely. So how's the sound, Mary? Oops. Okay, so let's do all these three. The good thing about these guys is because they're so big, they just very easily make the card. You saw that first card, we basically just stuck it to the front and we were done. Very, very easy. Okay. So let's bring back in our piece, which is here. Okay, so then we're just going to trim off one of the thank yous. So like that. I haven't quite gotten it straight, so I'm just going to trim it down quite tightly. Like I said, I'm using the coordinating stamp or stamp set, but that's not necessary. Use any sentiments you want um, on there. I'm just looking for my I want my little black mini dimensionals to pop this up. Me, <laughs> you're listening without watching. Oh my goodness, I can't audio describe. <laughs> you're just gonna have to turn it, turn on the, turn on the, the, what's the word I'm looking for? The video. It doesn't work just on audio. This is definitely a visual medium, isn't it? There we go. Let me just clear that down, and I think we'll add a bit of bling to this one. Okay. I'm just going to use our regular um, bog standard rhinestones. I can find my take your pick tool here somewhere, anywhere around, I know. Okay. Ah, just seen it poking out from underneath something else. So there's card number two. So now let's bring back in our coloured layer here. And what we're going to do with this is that we're going to take the base layer and I'm going to layer it on top. So you can see, if I've got this right, there we go. Mm. There we go. Have I got that right? Yes, I do. Okay, can you see that? So we're going to take our, um, sticking with our Coastal Cabana theme. So lay that down. And I think that could do with, you've gotten this and not done much with it, Diane. Well, here you go. Here's some ideas for you. You can break it out. I'm just going to get um, another piece of black. Okay, I think this will help make it pop. Yes. There we go. Okay, now we could do this as a different colour underneath, um, but I quite like it like that. Mm. I'm not actually sure about the black. Let's just see. Mm. Yeah. Might need a bit of input from you guys on this one. Um. 
think it needs something. But I'm not entirely sure what. I think I'm going, yes, I think that's what I want. I'm going to do a bit of white on white. So there it is. And I'm winging it again. <laughs> Nothing new there. Okay. <laughs> Sue's just realised that Mary can't read the comment. So, Mary, for your benefit, Sue Bishop has asked, What you doing? don't know if you can see that but you can by doing the white on white you've got the nice texture behind this if you can see the difference I could just put it down like that which looks nice um, but I think having helps give it a bit of extra depth can you see the difference there on the card but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stellarize it, so let's get my ink and Stella. Oh, I think we've lost you for a second, but I'm back. You didn't miss much. I'm just coloring around the edges of this with my ink of Stella. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that shimmer on there. Okay, so then I'm going to do our gluing trick. So I've got my silicon craft mat. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to need a fair bit of glue for this. Okay, and then I've got my sponge, which is a bit grotty, but it'll do the trick. So now we've got our detailed piece. So we don't need a lot on here okay all we just need to do is to dab because this is really fine so you've got to be careful make sure you've got a good coating of glue on your sponge so it doesn't pick up and drag the piece and then let's see if I can get this on correctly make sure I've got it the right way around there we go Okay, there we are. Okay, so now we have this lovely element, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this up. So I'm going to get my little mini dimensionals, and we've got plenty of places on the back here that we can add dimensionals to to pop this up. Okay. Okay, seeing some comments go by. Okay. Right, so now we're just going to pop this on. So that technique of the sponging the background gives you two cards in one. Which is always great. That one. Oops. Stuck it to my table. Okay. There we go. So by popping it up like that, you can really then see the dimension of the piece behind. Okay. And then we'll get our one of our thank yous. I think the other thing that would work really, really well with this is if you used vellum. So if you used vellum at the back there over a coloured background, there's just all sorts of stuff you could do with this that really, as I say, make it pop. So I'm going to glue this down um, because I don't want to add further dimension. 
and I've got quite a lot of coverage there because I've got the solid die so we'll just glue that on there there we go okay I've got gluey hands now sticky hands I should say right so then we'll pop that onto our Now look, I've gotten, and then I'm going to have to deal with this because I've gotten sticky on my fingers and that is going to come off on my cards as horrible black streaks. Card number three. Okay, next up, uh, let's see. Um, I want to use this black one, so I'm just going to pop out the dies on this. Pop out the dies, just finish popping out all the leaves on here. So, just bear with me while I do this. That, let me get my die brush on up. Will be much more effective than poking out each individual piece. There we go. See, I should have done all this ahead of time. So, if you're watching me poke pieces out of the die, but hey ho, that's part of. Part of card making. It's what we do. Here we go. There. The other thing you can do with this, um, which, oh, I might do on the next card actually. So I won't say, I'll just show. Uh, okay. So for the next one I've got a black card base and I've got a 10x4 white piece. Let me just make sure I folded that correctly. Black paper, one second. Okay. And this is yellow. And then we've got our, so all I'm going to do here is very similar to the first card. Now I've gone in a bit aggressively there to begin with, but we can make it work. What I'm going to do is just use part of the die. So I'm covering roughly half of the card diagonally. Okay, that should do the trick. And let's bring it back in. Mat. Okay, and this is still a bit sticky from the last time, so I'm just going to hold this in my hand and do it. And then just lay this down. Oh, 
back again keep dropping out apologies okay so I'm just trying to do this I've got glue on my hand so I'm trying not to accidentally stick myself to the die and pull it back up off my card okay and then when we're happy with the position then we just trim the edges Now, if you don't like to, if you, the other thing you could use to attach this, these dies, is you could use your um, adhesive sheets. If I was clever, I'd have thought of that in advance. Mm -hmm. And, but I hadn't quite thought that far ahead. So now what I'm doing is just around some of these edges, I'm just adding a tiny little piece of glue just to hold those edge pieces down just so they're nice and tidy Okay, there we go, and I think we can add a bit of bling to this one as well. this to our black card base. So again, you could do, uh, I've used yellow, but you could do any kind of color that you wanted behind there. There we go. Alrighty, and then I have one more idea that I want to try with you so just bear with me one second so i've got a whisper white card base and i've got my layer of white and then i'm just going to trim a layer of coastal cabana Go. And we want to do one more piece of um, heat embossing because I've got an extra card in my head. Just got to get it out. I don't know if this happens to you guys, but this is what happens to me all the time: um, is that I start to play with a thing, um, and as you play, stuff comes to you. And I know that a lot of you ask me, you know, where do you get your inspiration from? I don't know where to start set like that I've seen you demonstrate it or somebody demonstrate it or I've seen a project with it I get it home and then I just like don't know what to do and it just sits and you don't do very much with it at all and my advice is always the same just get started it might be that the first one or two is not quite what you want but once you get going um, then the ideas will start to flow um, once you just get into it um, and if you're not sure what you want to do to begin with, take a look in the catalogue. Um, just pick something, anything, just get started. Because once you start, that's when the inspiration strikes. So that would be my advice to you. And be prepared. I find it happens to me if I haven't crafted for a little while. The first few projects I really don't like. I usually end up binning them. But once I get going, I'm, I'm good. It's a bit like warming up before exercise. Um, so sometimes you've got to sacrifice a few projects, right? So we'll put that to one side and bring back our piece and our scrap. 
Okay, and I'm going to use some Melon Mambo, uh, which is this brush. So I might use all three colours. We'll see how we go. So I'm just going to create a little That's a bit more aggressive than I really wanted, but that's okay. Um, and we'll bring in the Daffodil Delight. So we'll just keep the same colours as we had earlier. Um, there's my yellow. Okay, and then my Bermuda Bay, I'm just going to be super, super light with my Bermuda Bay. Oh, stupid, stupid. See what I did there? I used my Melon Mambo brush to pick up my Bermuda Bay ink. So, never mind, I can rinse that off and get rid of that. So, I'll just bring this in from here. Apologies, folks, I can see that my signal keeps dropping out. Hopefully we'll make it to the end. Okay, and then a bit more yellow. Just to help that along. There we go. Okay. So now we've got our thank you. Oh yeah, I like that. As I say, I just love these three colours together. I mean look that just that on its own is really, really pretty. But we're gonna do more of that. So what we have, if I can find them, is all of the individual, here we are. Here are individual flowers um, that we made. So these are the little ones. I'm going to pop this up to begin with. And then we can, ah, first thing is we do a little bit of spritzing. So we've got our black, first of all. There we go. And then we've got our wink of Stella. There we go. Okay, and our thank you is here. Is that the one? Yep. So let's trim that down. Mm, actually, no, I want it. I do want to keep it reasonably big. I'm just being careful not to uh, okay. and I actually think just two What do you think, ladies? Two or three? So I'm going to pop this one on anyway. I'm going to pop that up. The dimensional. And I'm going to add a... Uh, do, 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 do. Put my take your pick tool down again, and I don't know where it is. So what do we think, ladies? Two flowers or three? Sue says one thing leads to another. Yeah, it does. That's creativity at work is just, you start somewhere and you just let it lead you. Um, OK. 
Okay. Okay, so uh, let's bring back in our layers. So I think uh, I think I like the two or the three, I should say. So got some glue. Very, very small amounts. It's just basically whatever's on the tip of my glue. I'm just allowing to, uh, there we go. So you can see you've just got a little bit on the tip, and I'm just I think one is enough. There we go. All right, so then we'll just glue this onto our Coastal Cabana layer. Go. And then just onto our Whisper White card base. So again, if you've got, I'm sure you've all got little dyes or dyes that have got little flowers in them, like these. So you could use those if you wanted. But as I say, this is, I think this is half price at the moment. Um, so there we go. That's our extra bonus card <laughs> for this evening. So let me clear a space and bring them back in. You know what comes next. It's time for you guys to choose. So let me bring them back in. We had card number one, two, and three, which were kind of done the same. Four and five. Okay, so there we go. Hope you can see them all. Um, so as I say, I definitely recommend that you get your hands on this die set. It is the um, it's the blossoms blossoms something or other <laughs> die set. I have the package here. Yeah, so it is the many layered blossoms dies. As I say, the stamp set is sold out, but you can see. Night and midnight place your order between midnight tonight and midnight tomorrow and you get free shipping if your order is 60 pounds or more so if you haven't already done so do make sure to check out and um, what's retiring a lot of stuff is getting sold out so if you've got your eye on stuff then do let me know or do let me know do make sure to get it before before it's gone so let's see let's see if we've got some votes tonight i think we've got a bit of a connectivity issue so have we got card number one two three four or five is your favorite let me know in the comments also to let you know that i have ordered copies of the new catalog which are on their way to me so that i can send them to you so you can expect to have your new um autumn autumn annual catalog soon I don't even know where mine's gone now. You should see my desk. It's just a mess. So there we have it. There are our five cards for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed them. Thank you for joining me. I apologize for the...